first time I remember making art was when I was about 10 and our class went outside to draw trees and I just drew this tree which looked real and I was kind of stunned myself. I was like, oh wow, that's really exciting. Yeah, and I think that was kind of from then on I was just really into drawing. And I could just spend hours drawing, it was a really nice kind of space to go into. I studied at the Canberra School of Art in Australia, in Canberra. When I did that, I also did an exchange to France, so that was really exciting because it kind of exposed me to more than just painting. Like The people I was hanging out with were doing a lot of installation and performance work and that sort of thing, so to me art school was just like opening the doors to all the possibilities that there are in art and, and it was just brilliant. When I left art school, I was really clear that I needed to always have a studio and that I should always be planning for the next exhibition so that I kind of kept my momentum going. A studio is like a really good way to ground myself as an artist, like it just kind of reminds me in those times when I'm a bit inactive to kind of just get in there and, and stay fresh. So it took a few years to kind of understand where I was going with my art, like it, it took a while to know what I was about even, you know, aside from just technically painting. And yeah, since then it's just been at least one day a week painting and, you know, oftentimes more than that, which is fantastic. I've been working on large scale abstract paintings pretty much since art school. And the influence of tramping and nature comes in and goes out. And at the moment it's, it's a pretty big focus. I'm, I'm using a lot of my drawings from my tramps, um, oil pastels, that kind of thing. I started tramping and doing lots of stuff in the bush when I was about 14 and just fell in love with it. Like would try and go out every weekend um, that I could, hiking and canoeing or you know whatever. And I would also draw when I had the opportunity and I guess I kind of got a job where I was marketing for Kathmandu and so you know I was kind of always tramping and all that kind of stuff and, and the two just came together. I had a really good friend at Kathmandu, Karen Giles, who's a painter, and we just started specifically doing art trips when I moved over here. So we'd go out for like two or three days with the idea of drawing. Sometimes it would be raining or snowing or something like that, and we'd just kind of get under the canopy and draw. I try to be really energetic and loose in my drawings. The colours, I actually do see those colours, which is kind of surprising. I think when people think of the New Zealand bush, they think green. And for me, when I'm kind of sitting in the bush and looking around, I'm seeing a lot more than just green and I'm kind of pulling out the vibrancy of, of what's happening there. And I don't know, it's quite a quick um, kind of immediate response to the environment that I'm in and kind of what I'm doing. I guess I feel like I'm dealing with two things in painting. I'm dealing with abstraction and then I'm also dealing with wanting to show how I experience something without necessarily needing to picture what I see. For me, there's a lot more space in abstract painting for personal expression. Like I just found with representation, I get really fixed on making the perfect image, like making it what it looked like. and. I've just become so tight and sort of anxious about it sort of being perfect and as soon as I kind of moved into abstraction I could see well you still have to deal with the same things like you know composition, colour, tone, energy mark making, all that kind of stuff. You get to deal with those at a different level. It allows you to show how you feel about something or how you experience something. I think about how the trees aren't kind of still and perfect, they're more kind of an energy that I see as I move through it and that's what I try and reflect in my work. I love paint and so through paint I want to express some kind of human experience being in the bush. That's when I'm kind of really centred, I'm really focused on what I'm feeling and, and how I kind of feel spiritually even. And when I'm in the studio, it's a similar sort of feeling. So everything else is blocked out. Like you're just kind of totally focused on where you are. And so the two just come together. I really like beginning by stretching my own canvases. The process of stretching a canvas and sizing it and priming it is like I'm already having a relationship with that canvas and, and the painting's already begun. When I'm working on a more abstract piece, I tend to paint an undercolour like really roughly or maybe a couple of different colours and then I just sit and look and I kind of, I'm almost asking the painting what it wants to be and really finding out as I go along and never have a plan to begin with.
Yeah, I've got a show coming up and this is a group of Wellington painters and we're all 35 um, and we all love paint and we paint in really different ways but it's just really cool to be working with a group of people that kind of have the same passion for the medium that 